Today, far-right Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene and scandal-prone Matt Gates of Florida proved so toxic they're running out of places to hold political rallies. New reporting from the Daily Beast highlights their desperate attempt to find venues that welcome their America First rhetoric. Just last night, they were forced to hold a rally on a street corner in Riverside, California, after three venues backed out. So this MAGA touting pair forced to fundraise on a street corner. Apparently, Four Seasons Total Landscaping, made famous by Rudy Giuliani, not available. But whether on street or on stage, people still showed up to see the two in California including some of Trump's wildest supporters who ultimately clashed with counter-protesters as this newly obtained video shows. You can say they are fringe, or maybe it is time to take Republicans at their word that loyalty to Trump and Trumpism remains who they are. Here's how Senator Lindsey Graham puts it. Here's what I can tell you about tech, uh, President Trump. He's heartbroken as to what's going on in our country and the world at large. He thinks he can fix it, and he told me he has unfinished business. So I will be shocked if he doesn't run for president in 2024. This is the party of Donald Trump. If you think otherwise, you're in for a rude awakening. Party of Donald Trump, yes. Lindsey Graham, who seemed to write off his friendship with Trump after the insurrection, now says Trump is the one to, quote, fix our country. No care for all the destruction Trump's caused. This doubling down on defining the party by loyalty to Trump comes as we learn even more about January 6. Three new bombshell books set for release this summer detail Trump's dangerous temperament in the final chapter of his presidency. Michael Bender, the author of the new book, Frankly, We Did Win This Election, the inside story of how Trump lost, described those final months today here on MSNBC. We all know the story of chaos of uh, four years in the Trump presidency. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to be a Wall Street Journal reporter uh, working over there every day to know that. But what was striking in the reporting of this book was, was how many people very close to Trump in the White House and at the campaign had become concerned he was dangerous for the country. I mean, Alex, he's, he asked his own teammates in the White House to have Americans shot. Right. He wanted people protesting uh, civil rights abuses to be shot, to have their skulls cracked. Uh, his own secretary of state was concerned that he might lean into a foreign conflict in order to hold on to power. So this is where we find ourselves, with one of our two major political parties orbiting around a twice-impeached, one-term president whose most loyal followers are now standing on sidewalks shouting about vaccine hesitancy as coronavirus cases surge thanks to the Delta variant, and as those unvaccinated account for nearly all hospitalizations and death. 